Good morning. Um, here's something awesome I just bought on eBay. It's a Nikon FE2. Uh, it has the MD12 motor, motor wind and it has a 55mm micro f3.5 lens. And it is just a lovely object. It came as is, completely non-functional. The camera wasn't working, the motor drive wasn't working. Um, the lens seems fine, but I'm just going to run through some things that make cam Nikon's old cameras not work. Some of the things that you should check if you're looking at an old Nikon uh, lens and camera. So first of all, the problem with the camera was these come, these use a battery, a little battery, either a single three point something volt battery or two 1.55 volt batteries that tuck in there. Now there's a little tab, which I don't think you're going to be able to see in this video. There's a little tab down there. Sometimes you just got to get a fingernail under that, lift it up a little bit to make better contact, uh, and clean around the clean around the contact at the top here. That's all it takes quite often. That's all it took with this camera. Um, for the motor drive, here's an interesting piece of, I don't know why this is the case, but it seems like battery design um, AA battery design has changed ever so slightly over the years. So here's here are the here are the battery the rechargeables I use most of the time. That head was not enough to peek through the hole in this piece of plastic. That is the only problem that I think this person had when they were trying to test that. They were using batteries that did not work in this cradle. Uh, this Energizer rechargeable battery has a slightly longer head and completely make, just, just makes this work. So that is all that was wrong with the motor drive. I paid $78 for this whole thing, which is a very low risk. I mean, even if it, I hadn't been able to make it work, it would look really good up on the shelf here with these other Nikons that I collect. And the lens serviced is a good 50 bucks used. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to sell that or keep it. The action is really nice. When you're so let's let's talk to so the body. Um, a lot of these older Nikon's need a battery for the lens to fire unless it is in the. There's usually a manual. In this case, it's M250. There's a manual shutter release mode. In which case, it'll work without a battery. So if your battery runs out in the field, you can always just use 250. There's my motor button. There we go. Um, So the camera, once the once the battery's in there, the lens, the light meter inside works perfectly, all good. But in terms of evaluating a camera and seeing if you should actually use it for film, two things: take off the lens, get a toothpick, and do a little touch on that little bumper that the mirror hits up against. That can get super old and gummy and sticky. Um, it just affects performance. It can make the mirror bounce. It can make the mirror stick. This one is in really good condition. It's just, it's absolutely complete. It's hard to see. It's complete. It's not sticky. It's really good. The other thing to look at is the light seal capability. Open the back. What do I need to do here? Push a button to. Not that button. Lever. Pull. So again, taking a toothpick, you see on eBay people talk about replaced light seals. There's basically a little bit of felt, a little bit of felt along the groove that the door closes into. That can get, does get really dusty, really dry, really crappy. And if that dries out, then it just the, the light gets in through that. Uh, I think this has been replaced. I don't think these are original light seals. But uh, light seals, you can you can do your own. Uh, you could get to you could go to Hobby Lobby and get a sheet of black felt. Just cut super thin strips, just the right size, and and take these out with take the old ones out with a toothpick. Um, 
just scratch them out, pull them out, get them out. Maybe a little bit of denatured alcohol or um, isotropic alcohol on that too. They just kind of fall apart and come out. Just put in little strips, works fine. Uh, that is that a that's an interesting shutter. I don't know if that's the titanium shutter. See that honeycomb on it? It's kind of cool. Um, so that's shutter, motor winds, batteries, camera is batteries, camera is light seals, lenses. Really well, lenses. This is a little bit speckledy. I think on the inside. Um, not to a point that it would affect imaging. But here's what you need to do if you've got an old lens. Put it to the smallest aperture, in this case f32 possibly because it's a macro lens. F, yeah, f32. Put it to the smallest aperture and then there's a little, a little aperture shutdown mechanism here. When you're lining your shot up, it's fully open. Then you hit the shutter, you hit the shutter and it goes and closes to whatever aperture you set by the light meter. That should be like that. That should be totally brisk and just crisp, snappy. Um, if it's not, that means there's oil in the aperture blades or some other issue that make it close down slowly. That means when you take your shot, your camera is trying to go close down really quickly to get the shot. And instead of going, it's going. Um, and as the camera is taking the shot, it's more, it's on the way to closing to the right aperture and it's not completely closed and that gives an overexposed image. So that's with this era of lenses getting just oil from the camera, getting on the aperture is very common. Um, this is great. That's a really smooth mechanism. And it's a little bit, it's a little bit, it doesn't feel amazing but it's 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 okay the aperture so there you go so there's something on ebay that was 78 dollars plus 12 dollars shipping that is with a little bit of tiny bit of love like if i put new light seals in the camera that's maybe 150 on a good on a good day 200 dollars for that as a serviced as a serviced unit i would get a new eyepiece for it it's pretty cheap the rubber is going there um, I would check the light meter against the light meter just to make sure that's that's working and as a as a fully serviced and tested and verified camera just the camera body I, I think I could get $200 for the motor wind nicely photographed 50 the lens 50 so Nikon stuff's fun will I though no that'll probably go on the shelf I may or may not keep the Macro lens. I'll do a test on it with Fuji, uh, my Fuji mirrorless, because that's fun. It may stay in the family just for the Fuji mirrorless, just for macro stuff on that. But probably not. The problem with mac the problem with vintage lenses lenses on macro photography is macro photography is often about closed down, very small apertures. When you have that on a mirrorless camera, that doesn't stop down when you take the shot. There isn't enough light even to frame your photo. So probably I'll sell that. Anyway, that was just a fun little thing I wanted to share. What a beautiful, what a beautiful object. Totally works. I love these old things. Have a good day.